Hey, what's going on, Pisces? Butch Tarot here. Gonna do your two-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, rules can be reversed. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. I'm gonna be using the Celtic Tarot. Uh, still one of my favorites. Um, also, just a little bit of a warning, uh, I noticed somebody commented and told me that uh, somebody been has been using my name um, and my picture as a YouTube channel, um, you know, commenting on, on certain things, um, you know, giving out their, their number for texting, uh, WhatsApp, you know, be careful of these people. A lot of YouTubers are having this problem. Um, you know, just be safe. I'll never ask for money. And I'll never ask, for, you know, give out my number. Which is not my number anyway. But just be careful. I don't want anybody getting, you know, getting caught up with these scammers. Um, that being said, let's get it. First, what do we have for Pisces? Pisces. So the first thing we got, Pisces, is I feel like there, there may be somebody they're already dealing with, or that there is someone coming in. Now this is someone that you're gonna think about exclusively. You know. Now with this person, I feel you're gonna have a lot of fun with this person. You're gonna really enjoy being around this person. You know, you're gonna feel a lot of love from this person, but I feel like there is a part of this that you know it's almost like when when this is we get to the point where this is supposed to move forward you know when you start wanting more from this person I feel like there's a lot of hot and cold energy you know I feel like this person goes cold on you from time to time or will go cold on you now it's not it's not what it seems you know I, I feel like anytime you know it's brought up in discussion or, you know, any kind of sort of thing like that. When we're talking about moving forward, we want more from this person. You know, that, that feeling you're getting when they go cold on you isn't because they don't want it. You know, I just feel like this person is looking at negatives instead of the positives. You know, looking at those cups that knocked over and not looking at the, you know, we got that rainbow there and we got the cups upright. All the good things, they're missing it right now. And I feel like the reason why they're missing it is because this person lacks confidence. You know, there's a lot of things going on here. When this person goes cold, you know, they're just, that's when they're overthinking the shit out of this. You know, they go in that hermit mode. It's almost like they're afraid to, to, to move forward. And their biggest fear is getting hurt. You know, I feel like this person is giving to people before and it's never, you know, it's always ended up bad for them. Anytime they ever gave to a situation, it, it never worked out. You know, like I said, I feel like things are great. You know, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment on both sides, they like being with you. They genuinely do. They want a future with you. 
They're just afraid that once they give, that that's going to change how you are. Once they once they they put themselves out there, they feel like you know it's leaving them vulnerable, and that's where they lack the confidence. They lack confidence in themselves. They lack confidence in you know moving forward with with anything because of the, their past. You know they have these burdens, that devil, uh, that Capricorn energy. In their past, we've had a lot of issues. You know, and, and I feel like it's very hard for them to give to the situation. And that's why I feel like they pull away sometimes. When when things start getting serious, it's almost like they want to put a standstill on it. Now, they're not walking away. They don't want to walk away. They want to give to the situation. They want it just as badly as you do. They just have a harder time expressing themselves because they're afraid if they express themselves, then that's when it's going to fall apart. You know, they're not trusting their intuition here. Now, it sounds bad, but I feel like this isn't going to go on forever. You know, I do feel like this is coming to an end. Or it will come to an end. I feel like, you know, we just need to be patient with this person. Because I feel like they are worth the wait. You know, they're just afraid. And I feel like the more they, they, the more they feel for you the more it puts that anxiety in them that, that, you know, they may make a mistake here. But like I said, at the end of the day, I feel like they are going to move forward with this because I do have a lot of forward movement with that Cancer Energy, the Chariot card. You know, I do see this moving forward. I do see them allowing those burdens to come to, you know, to not hold them back anymore. Um, you know, I, I just feel like I mean, they want to move forward, but as soon as it gets, as soon as it gets serious, I, I I feel like that's when they start overthinking again, and that's why we got that hot and cold energy back and forth. Um, like I said, they're very emotionally fulfilled. You know, I feel like you're both on the same page that way. Uh, you both have a good time together, a lot of fun, light energy. You know, they want more from this, but I feel like they just have a they have a hard time you know, making that leap. But I, like I said, I, I feel like this is coming to an end because I do see the, the I do see them allowing, you know, themselves to be rid of the, the burden because they're afraid of getting hurt, but they're starting to realize that the only way they're going to get hurt in this situation is by not giving to it. You know, with Pisces, you got to be in or you got to be out. If you're not in, don't waste their time. You know, this is for the cross watcher. I mean, they're not going to give you their attention if they don't want to. So if they're giving you their attention, that's all they expect back. You know, this hot and cold bullshit ain't going to last forever. And you're going to end up, you know, you're not going to end up going where you want to go. You're going to end up being alone. Because sometimes we get hurt when we put ourselves out there. But that doesn't mean we ever stop doing it. And like I said, I do see a lot of forward movement. I do see this being very long term. We have the Hierophant. It's all about union. But we have to give to our situation. Like I said, the reason why they're pulling away is because they're not trusting their intuition. You know, this person has a lot of love and a lot of love to give. This is someone very nurturing very caring and that's how they see you as well and the more they see that the more they're going to start acting accordingly now like i said they lack confidence um you know in, in the fact that they can you know put themselves out there without getting hurt but it's becoming more and more clear to them that if they don't put themselves out there they're going to get hurt you know, there's nobody else for them. They're not looking at anybody else. Um, there's no other options that way. We also have the three of swords, like, or three of cups, sorry. Um, you know, I don't feel like, so I, you know, that, that may be part of what the thought process is when they pull away from you, like they're not interested or there may be somebody else, but that's not it at all. Like I said, it's not what it seems. They want this more than you know. 
And I feel like they're going to start, you know, they're, they're going to come around. It, it is, your wait is coming to an end. You know, you're not going to get this from this person, you know, moving forward. I feel like there is a lot of forward movement. I, I feel like, you know, this is something that can be very long-term, possibly your person. You know, and I know patience sucks. <laughs> now with this person, could be dealing with another water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Got a lot of Earth, Virgo, uh, Taurus, and Capricorn. And we got Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You know, one thing I can I can see with this person is, is once they start giving Pisces, I mean, you got someone very loyal. You know, they're going to go out of their way for you. Once they put themselves out there, they can't, they can't half-ass it. You know, once they start giving, it's going to move forward very quickly. Like I said, a lot of forward movement with that ch chariot. Um, you know, and, I, and like I said, patience pays off here. And I know that's not what anybody wants to hear. Nobody wants to be patient. But like I said, how they feel for you will be worth the wait. And for all the cross watches out there, like I said, you know, just because you put yourself out there and you get burned, doesn't mean you put yourself on a shelf and just leave yourself there the rest of your life. I mean, don't stop putting yourself out there. Because eventually, you're going to find the right one. And if you're if you're if you're too hesitant, if you if you hold back too much, you might just you just you might just miss out. You know, it's like playing a you know playing a game. You're not gonna you know you may lose, but doesn't mean you shouldn't play again afterwards. I mean, because you're never gonna win if you don't play again. Not to refer to it as a game, but you know what I mean. You know, we win some, we lose some, but when we win, we win big. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.